Hello and welcome to the Sunday School Film for Advent Sunday. Now I'm just going to pop up into my loft and get some things for today's film. I wonder what I need. Christmas tree? Mm, bit early I think. Oh, a box of Christmas cards, the ones for Sunday School. Now I could start writing those. Now, candles, definitely for Advent. Oh, some purple fabric too. And the Advent calendar I always fill for my next door neighbour. OK, I think we've got everything. We're ready to start. So, the meaning of Advent comes from the Latin word, Adventus which means coming. So, Advent is all about preparation and waiting for the arrival of... Now I need to explain, I've mentioned Advent and I know you're all going to be looking forward to the arrival of this chap and hopefully a lovely present for yourself. But as a Christian, our focus is actually looking forward to celebrating the birth of Jesus. Now I know many of you know the story of the birth of Jesus well. And you may well have had a part in one of our nativity plays and it's tradition in our church that we perform our Sunday school nativity at 4 p.m. on Christmas Eve. So for us in church, this time of Advent is a time of preparation and waiting, specifically for the birth of baby Jesus. So you may already have um, an Advent calendar like this, filled with perhaps some pieces of chocolate in it, ready for the 1st of December, or possibly you may even have an Advent candle like this, starting from the 1st, running all the way down to the 24th. Now, however, in church, the 1st of December is not necessarily the first day of Advent. For Christians, Advent starts on Advent Sunday. Now, Advent Sunday also marks the first day in the church year. And Advent Sunday always falls each year on the fourth Sunday before Christmas Day. So let's look at a calendar for this year and see how that works out. Here's December this year and Christmas Day the 25th falls on a Friday and we need to count back four Sundays. One, two, three, four. So the fourth Sunday away from Christmas, the first Sunday of Advent, falls in November and it's Sunday the 29th of November. Now you might have a calendar like this to count down at home or possibly a candle like that. But in church we mark each Advent Sunday by lighting a special candle. Now in church each of the special Advent candles is placed within a wreath. And what I've got here in front of me is actually the wreath from St Thomas's School which will be used during Advent. Let's count how many candles actually go into the wreath. One, two, three, four, Five. Now I've told you that there are four Sundays in Advent but we've actually just counted five places for candles. So let's go through the placing of the candles themselves. Now normally when you think about church candles you probably think about church candles being white but like the fabric I brought down from my loft the special colour for Advent is purple. So the first and the second candles placed are both purple. The third Sunday of Advent has a pink candle. The fourth Sunday has another purple one. And then a very special white candle goes in as the fifth candle on Christmas Day. Now the wreath itself is circular and is always made of evergreens. And that obviously represents life in winter, but also eternal life and God's creation. And each one of these four specific candles 
has a theme and that sets the theme of the service for that Advent Sunday. So Sharon will base on each Advent Sunday the theme of the candle as a theme of her service. Now the first Advent Sunday, the theme is the patriarchs. So then we think back to the Old Testament and we think of Abraham and we think of David. The second Advent candle relates to the prophets, those who foretold the coming of Jesus. The third candle, which is pink, represents John the Baptist. John who baptised Jesus and told us to prepare for Jesus. And the fourth candle on the fourth Advent Sunday, again is purple and is for Mary, the mother of Jesus. And this very special white candle in the centre is referred to as the Christ candle and is placed at midnight mass on Christmas Eve or on Christmas Day. Now I've just run through the four traditional themes for Advent but there are also a slightly more modern and simpler version for families and you may remember that last week when we were all together and we made our little Advent box of kindness we looked at the four themes and they are hope, peace, joy and love. Now we only have to, each of us, wait just over four weeks to celebrate the birth of Jesus in Advent. But remember, those Old Testament prophets foretold the birth of Jesus hundreds of years before his actual birth. Now I normally make a simpler version of an advent wreath a little bit like this as a table decoration for home. Um, here's a picture of mine from last year. And some of you may also make and have wreaths, green wreaths on your front door too for advent. Now our make today is going to be for you to create your own advent wreath picture, which is a bit of a tradition in Sunday school and something that we always do on the first advent Sunday. Now the materials for this week's make are all included within this week's Sunday School Pack. There is an activity sheet, a colouring sheet and the make sheet. Now in your pack you've got a red piece and a black piece of paper for the background for your picture and I'm going to choose to use the black for mine. Now using any materials you've got, any crayons or whatever, you can create some green for the wreath. I'm actually going to use some paint. And here we go. And there's the base of my wreath made. Now I'm going to let the base of my wreath dry and the next stage to do is the holly. And you have a copy of this little template on your activity sheet and you need to trace round and once you've got your holly drawn, take your scissors and cut out. So here are my pieces of holly, I've cut out seven and now I need to add them to my wreath. So using a little bit of glue on the back, glue up and stick down. Now we've got the base of our wreath, our evergreen wreath, and we now need to make our four candles. Now we're making a candle for each of the Advent Sundays. In your pack you've got some white paper, which you can obviously use colouring pencils to make purple and pink paper. But for speed, I've got some purple and pink paper here, and I need to cut out three purple candles and one pink candle. Okay, I've got my four candles now cut out. One, two, three, purple and one pink. And we now need to add onto each one of those candles the theme of that Advent Sunday. So here is the first Advent Sunday, hope. The second Advent Sunday, peace. The third, joy. And the fourth, love and they are now ready to stick on to your wreath.
So those are the four candles in place. Now in your pack, you've also got some yellow paper to actually make the flame. And with your scissors, you need to cut out for yourself four flames, one for each candle. So I've got my four flames all ready and cut out. And to give it a little bit more of a light effect, I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of yellow paint as a little dob at the head of each of the candles. And you've now got your picture all ready for the first Advent Sunday. Now on your activity sheet and in your make pack, you've got suggested little prayers to say. And it's traditional in church that at the start of each service on Advent Sunday, you light the candle and then the congregation together say a prayer. So you can each week now add one of the flames to your little candle and say the prayer from the sheet. Now, if you're a little bit like me and you'd be a bit worried about holding on to those four flames for the four weeks, here's an alternative way to light up your candles. You could stick the four flames in place now and then as you get to each of the Sundays, go to the candle flame, add some glue, say your prayer and give a nice sprinkle of glitter to light your candle. I hope you're going to enjoy making your Advent wreath picture and lighting each of those candles in turn through the next four Sundays. Don't forget your little box of kindness. I'll be dipping into mine on the 1st of December at the same time I light my Advent candle and I know my first little act of kindness is a gift to a neighbour. Now, if we were all together in church, Sharon would be inviting one of the families from Sunday school to light the first Advent candle. As we can't all be together, here are some lovely pictures of Sunday school families for us to share together. And I look forward to seeing you all soon.
Four candles. <laughs> Four candles. Here you are. Four candles. No, four candles. Well, there you are. Four candles. No, four candles. <laughs> candles for forks. <laughs> <laughs>